Hi everyone, uh, it's Mr. Buddock here. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's story and I've got a brand new story for you today. Um, today I'll be reading The Odd Egg by Emily Grubbett. So let's have a read. All the birds had laid an egg. All except for Duck. Then Duck found an egg. He thought it was the most beautiful egg in the whole wide world. But the other birds did not. That egg is odd. <laughs> not pretty. It'll never hatch. Poor duck. Then, creak, tweet, creak, crack, cheep, creak, crack, twit, to woo, creak, crack. I'm a pretty boy. Creak, crack. Honk, honk. All the eggs had hatched, all except for ducks. Duck waited for his egg to hatch. He waited and waited and waited until <gasps> creak, crack, out. Came a crocodile! Snap, 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 snap! And it scared off all the other animals. And the crocodile followed the duck around saying, Mama, Mama, Mama. The end. Right, I hope you enjoyed that story. Uh, my reception class loved the little twist at the end. Uh, with the crocodile coming out of the odd egg. Um, uh, I was having to think about what activities you could do at home. I was thinking you could design your own odd egg. Um, so I've had a go. I've used a range of collage materials. I've made a little odd egg here using some little beads, some tissue, um, circles, and pens. So I've made my little odd egg. So you can have a go at making an odd egg at home. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that story. And I'll see you back again tomorrow for another story. See ya, bye.